let's put I'm gonna watch that Gator game. LSU, man. You you a college fan? Yeah, I, I like NFL better. Don't get me wrong, I like him. People people are like complete opposite around here though. Jellyfish. These things love to feed on jellyfish. Out in Texas, these things um, eat on jellyfish. They actually use jelly balls to bait to catch these things. But all I'm using is a little, little shrimp. Probably. They know this fish is not regulated. In Florida, so you can keep as many as you want. I'll probably keep one or two more. That's it. Are we on that spot still? Oh, there they are. I see them. They're down there. Fish on. Now that fish is going to swim to the bottom. This little guy go. Give me a bigger one. Oh, oh, stop it. Oh, ah, you. I might keep you now. Jeez. Ah. He's got some fins on him. Man, you can put him on my big rod if you want to. <laughs> I can't argue that. I still don't let this guy go. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Alright guys. I got my spade fish right here. If you want to know how to clean spade fish? put a link up above but in this catch and cook I'm gonna show you how I like to bake my spade fish it's a kind of Italian twist on it with a little bit of spice what you're gonna need is a nice nice white onion of course jalapeno your spade fish of course some butter some parsley flakes some extra virgin olive oil fresh pepper I mean fresh cracked pepper some salt and some fresh minced garlic. I'm gonna start off now. I'm gonna cut this onion up. Sharpen my knife. Shing! Now I'm just gonna have the onions. I'm gonna lay them on top of the fish when I bake it. Just gonna cut the ends off. I'm gonna peel that skin back. I like to cut down like this. Just gonna get that first layer off. Don't worry guys, I'm not crying. 
and yeah, thinly slice them. All right, now I got my onion slice. Put them on this plate. Got my jalapeno. Cut the end off. Go ahead and cut it in half. I'm going to take the veins and seeds out because that's the hottest part of the jalapeno. I don't want that much heat. And I'm going to cut them in strips and then dice them up. Same with this one. Now we got that done. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and prep our fish. Always wash your hands after you cutting jalapeno, jalapenos. You don't want to touch your face and burn yourself. And now we got that done. Let's go ahead and prep our fish. Nice spade fish right here. And make sure I get all make sure you get all the pin bones out and everything. Alright guys. Now we got our fish all cleaned up and everything. Let's go ahead and season these bad boys up. First thing I'm gonna start off, of course, with a little bit of salt and pepper. A little sprinkle sprinkle. Sprinkle sprinkle. You don't wanna go too heavy now. Just enough. Go ahead and uh, some fresh cracked pepper as well. And also add a little parsley flake. You want to do that to both sides of your fish too as well. Now that I got a fish all season, I'm going to show you guys how I make, like to make my aluminum foil pack out of tin foil. So we can bake this spade fish in. Let's go take your fish, slide it to the side. Pretty simple. Take one sheet, fold the corners over. Like so. It don't gotta be pretty now. You do it to a quarter size of how much fish you're cooking. Or you can just put bake it in the pan, but I'd rather do it in tin foil. Let's clean up that way. So you make a little pocket like that. Take some olive oil. Get inside the pan. Oh, if you tin foil. Go ahead and use your fingers if you like. Go ahead and spread it around on that bad boy. You take your fish. And lay them down in here. Like so. Wash your hands. I also like to sprinkle a little olive oil on top of the fish as well. And while I'm doing this, I already have my oven preheated to 350. Take some fresh garlic. Great value, of course. Not fresh garlic, but take minced garlic. Just put, put a little bit on here. You don't want to add too much garlic, but you want to have that garlic flavor. I love garlic, though, so... In my opinion, the more the better. I'm going to take some of these onions that we cut, cut up earlier. Lay them on top. So I'm gonna give it a nice little flavor. When onions cook down, it gives that a great aroma. I just love the smell of it. Now we got our onions in. And a couple more. Get your hand full with some of these jalapenos. 
Let's shake it up like a dice game. Let's go sprinkle around and give it a little, little spice to it. You don't have to add jalapenos, it's just my little kick to it. Now we got a butter. Put a couple squares on top of them, let them melt down, let it melt on them. Just put one in each fish. What I do, and of course, the final step I don't have any fresh, fresh lemon. I have some lemon juice. Just put a little dab of lemon juice on there. You know, fish and lemon juice go hand in hand. Hi guys. Hi right, guys. Now that's the finished product right before it hits the oven. Go ahead and take a piece of tin foil, put it on top, make it like a nice little oven bag. Seal it up, put that bad boy in the oven. Alright guys, oven's preheated. Go ahead and put this uh, spade fish in. Close it up. Let her cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Come back, check on her, and try her out. Here's the fish. Alright guys, let's take a look at this. Ooh, look at that. I wish you guys could smell that. It smells so good. Alright. It's time to taste it guys. Even though it's a little hot. I can't wait. You see how much we like it. Mm. Spade fish. It's delicious. Alright, Kylie. Pull the boat off for you? Yeah. Alright, Kylie. Try it. What do you think? No, I don't tell them. Okay, let's go like this if it tastes good. <laughs> Try it. It's hot. Mm -hmm. so on. Is it good? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay, she already says it's a little bit good, but she doesn't really, she's not big of a fish eater. I feel like this is delicious, guys. Alright, guys. So, my peanut and spade fish. It's delicious. This ain't my first time having it. I always like spade fish. They taste phenomenal. And they fight extremely hard. Now, in this video, I didn't show you how I cleaned it. I made another video about that. So, I'm going to post that link up above. But if you enjoyed this video and like this Catch of Cooks, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell notification to get further notifications every time I post a video.